Hey guys, I just thought I would do a quick recording. Trader Joe's is closing in a second. I built right next to him. It's actually Trader Bob. So uh, yeah, this is uh, day 15, uh, War 3Z UK. Um, uh, still Alpha 18 build, I guess. Uh, we got two sets of um, electrical fences out there. We got two uh, um, blade traps right there. We've got three reinforced steel doors here, shotgun turret, our walkway is full of barbed wire. So this is all steel. All the building below down here is all steel on the outside walls. This is all solid under here, reinforced concrete. I haven't actually gone down and dug my uh, underground tunnel yet, but this is all solid concrete. Um, you can't really see it from here, but uh, yeah. Anyway, the Horde Knight, 64 zombies. Uh, difficulty is insane so I cranked it way up so hopefully oh, we should probably turn that on there we go this should make quite good work of them the first tour night I had was on day 8 and what ended up happening was I didn't have any of the uh, blade traps or anything for the barbed wire fences. So I just had the, um, let's just drop this in there. Enjoy that guys. Uh, so all I had was um, the barbed wire fences all the way along. I only had two doors and the horde went all night for a 90 minute day. So the horde goes for quite a while. I had 1700 uh, 762 rounds. Um, and a couple of repair kits for my AK. And I burned through all of that. Um, well, that's not true. I had a bit of, few rounds left for the AK, but I ran out of durability with the AK. Uh, my Magnum, I had a couple hundred rounds for. And I burned through everything for that. Um, and my shotgun, I had several hundred rounds for as well. Um, and my shotgun ran out of durability. So I'm using the exact same weapons I used the first time through. I ended up having to finish the night off with a hunting rifle. And the zombies burned their way through the first two, uh, first door and the first two levels of the second door. And I just managed, barely managed to survive it. Like I said, finishing the night off with uh, my rifle, one shot at a time. Now, I don't have very many mods in my my guns and stuff. This shotgun turret. Oh, I don't have it turned on. That's why. Ha! Ah, now I do. There we go. I didn't have a shotgun turret last time either. The only mods I really have on my weapons, I got a rad remover on my pistol. And uh, I think I put one on my shotgun as well. The AK itself has got a uh, clip extender and a scope. That's it. Shotgun has got a barrel extender. But they're doing a good job of not being able to make it to the door in this one. I think having the three doors probably now is overkill. But I'm having a really hard time finding weapons. But then again, I'm not really doing a lot of um, building exploring. I'm kind of mostly... Um, I'm mostly um, just doing mining, getting all the materials I need. Like, really, if, if the easiest part of this game is just gathering the resources. And if you do that and you have a couple of weapons, you can make a base that's so strong that they're just not going to get through it, you know? Like the last time, I didn't have this all filled in, and they broke through underneath. I was dropping pipe bombs down on them. Didn't really help that much, but, I mean, I've got grenades now in case they decide to do the same thing. Like go underneath and try to break through, but I don't think that'll happen. Now, 
Now, if these electrical fences go down, it could be an issue, but I don't think so. Like, even if they get to the door and start banging on it, I mean, I'll shred them so quickly with the AK, but they're really not going to get a chance to do much. And the shotgun does a really great job, too. Like, I'm going to get so much XP out of this for not really doing anything, you know? So when I get into Alpha 19, I'm planning on building the same type of base. So it looks like one of my uh, blade traps is gone already. I wasn't expecting them to last all night. I've got my this gun set so it doesn't see the door. Which is probably good because I don't want it shooting the door by accident. Like, even though I've got, like, tons of forged steel on me just in case. You know? The fact that the, uh, feral zombies basically walk makes them, like, useless. So like I said, it's 90 minute days on this, so um, we got a 22 and a half minute night in real time. Yeah, they haven't even made, they haven't even made the door yet. Those blade traps are gone, but still doesn't matter. Like, I don't even need to be here. I think the shotgun... Well, no, they're at the door now. But this is what it was like the first night on day eight. They were just piled at this door the whole night. I just stand here and shoot them. Like, you can't miss when there's like 20 of them standing here. You know, you can't miss them. So every round counts. It's just, you know... But this is, I posted on uh, somebody's, I can't remember who it was, somebody had mentioned that, oh, I think it was on a Glock 9 uh, video, that he should play um, either um, War 3 Z, oh, someone's down here banging on shit. Um, play War 3 Z or, or, um, or um, Darkness Falls, and I think from what I've seen, I haven't played Darkness Falls yet, but that's what I'm going to be playing next, I think. Um, Darkness Falls just seems to be more difficult. I think the increased resources and stuff you get from this game. We lost the wire? No, we haven't. Um, Darkness Falls just seems to be more dangerous. Like, the zombies in this one can be hard-hitting if you're not careful, but, like, I don't have... Hang on a second here. Like, I don't have, like, the best of armor or anything on, right? So it's not like... And I have it on same difficulty. Zombies jog during the daytime, so they've got a bit of speed to them. So these guys are the, uh... These guys are the ferals. They're moving really slow. And they hit hard if they get to you, but they gotta get to you, right? Oh, those are, uh... Alright, those are, uh, shorted out now. So, we're two hours in. Or... A third of the way in. Now it's just gonna be a gun battle. Oh, first demolisher. Well, that's going to be bad. But, like, you know, it's all reinforced, so I don't think it's that bad. Alright, let's go see what those guys are doing their thing there. 
Just interested to see how much this outside door took here in damage. Like nothing. I don't know why that demolisher didn't do a lot of damage, but... Oh, that was a miss. Oh shoot, he hit me more than anything. I didn't see that. Uh, let's use one of these guys. Yeah, see who they're all piling up here now? Might be a tougher fight this time than the last time. Simply because there's more ferals. More radiates too. Alright. The one thing about this build though is you gotta be careful of the uh, spider zombies. Spider zombies will get down under the door that are at the bottom of the door. And if you're not careful, they'll just keep doing damage. Now obviously this game mode requires a lot of ammo. Like you really need to have ammo for this. But in War 3 Zed UK, it's so easy to get ammo. I mean, brass is the hardest thing, but... Like, just do missions for the traders and use the dudes in brass. You know? And obviously, if you let them pile up the door like this, could cause problems, but like I said, where you're standing, compare this. Where you're standing, they really don't have a chance to do a lot of damage to the door. As long as you got the ammo, they might get a couple hits in. Each guy might get a couple hits in, but I think overall, where you're, depending on who, like, what weapons you're using and where you're shooting, you'll end up doing more damage to the blocks than they will. Now I got a, uh, a a rad remover mod on the shotgun too. Okay, now they're piling up again. To get back into this. Now I almost had one guy get up on the roof, which is really hard to do because it's six blocks up. But he just ended up punching down on the door. So yeah, I mean, and if you're diligent too, like you could run with one door if you wanted to. Like, if you just want to keep repairing it. So that's, like, they haven't broke through the first level yet, you know? I just have those extra doors. Just in case I forget, you know, and they break through one. That third door is really just a backup. At this point. I definitely needed it the last time. Yeah, what ended up happening last time is there was a bunch of guys that were just like, beat these things up. Yeah, they don't do very much. Enjoy that, guys. Yeah, but the last time, like on day eight, I didn't have a crucible, so I couldn't make steel. So I, all the steel I had, I, I bought or I wrenched off of vending machines. But what had happened, how they got through the door is I didn't realize there was two spider zombies under the pile of other zombies, and I wasn't shooting them. So they were constantly hitting the door. And even though the last time they broke through down here and got underneath the base, because I only had one reinforced concrete wall uh, and then a brick wall after that so they had broken inside below but they didn't do anything they banged on the walls a bit and then ran around and came back outside and came up here so even if you don't have a reinforced fully reinforced column down there they're just going to come to the door anyway just got to make sure the walkway is 
At least at the start, reinforce concrete and then reinforce it to steel as soon as you can. So they can't break it. Now these pillars right here are, you know, a 4x4. Because I don't, if I, even putting one there, if they break it and it falls, then, they'll, then all they're going to be doing is attacking the walls the whole time. And this base isn't set up to handle that. Because I, I don't have any other way of dealing with zombies down here. Other than, see if I can ricochet this one. No, nope. ah, well. I don't have any other way of dealing with zombies down there. Other than just this little bit right here, being able to drop stuff down. But it's a freaking turkey shoot, you know? The biggest weakness of the zombies, I think, in this game is that they, um, they follow a path, right? So you can lead them exactly where you want them. My shotgun turret will be out of ammo soon. I had like, I don't know, 700 rounds in it? How was it doing? 179? Not bad. And what, we're, we're almost two-thirds of the way through the night? Like I said, these zombies are going to be coming all night long. There's no way they can, uh, there's no way that they'll stop coming. Like, I can kill so many of these guys. A little stinker. Look at this guy. See, this is what happened last time. They don't look like they're doing anything, but they are. It looks like they're just crawling into the door, but I think they're doing damage while they're doing it. Yeah, I remember the last time when I ran out of ammo, or not, I ran out of uh, durability for my uh, AK and I was down and using the revolver. And then I ran out of ammo for the revolver and I'm like, oh, okay. And the shotgun and run comes out of durability. And I was like, oh crap, what do I do now? It was just down to the rifle. and it was, But it was only like half an hour left in the evening. Which is what? Like... I don't know, a couple of minutes. So I just finished them off with the rifle. And they broke through a couple of levels of doors while I was doing that. You definitely want large capacity um, weapons for this build, obviously. Yeah, they're... Uh, they're not even going to get to the first door tonight. Not even the first level of the first door. Oh, yeah. Cops. So the last time I played, I had a ton of cops. Like a ton of them. Well, that's my first one tonight. And as long as you kill the cops before they blow up. Oh, another repair. So I got an extra repair kit here still, too. There's another cop coming. There he is. I had plenty of radiated cops last time, too. Hey, buddy. See what I mean about these monkeys? If you're not, if you're not careful... Ooh, yeah, enjoy that. Well, that guy was fast. He's so fast, he went right past the motion sensor. But anyway, all of the uh, all of the materials I have here, like the uh, blade traps, the um, electric fences, all that stuff, I bought all that at the trader. I didn't. Um, I haven't really built anything here. I think I made a couple of electrical fences. I made the relay that's up here. I made this, but everything else I bought from the traders, like I didn't really need to. 
Oh, there goes a cop. Not that it matters, like, the entire outside of my first couple levels on this, well, all the way around, but on this side, all the way up to the top, it's all steel, so... I'm not really worried about them breaking in. And let's say, let's, for the sake of argument, let's say for whatever reason they managed to break in down below, like through the first two couple of blocks, they gotta take this whole thing down. Like all these blocks down to pull this building down. It's just so much. And if they broke in here, let's say they broke in, they were really powerful, they broke in here. I got two choices. One, I can go down here and just hide under the door. Or two, I can go up to the roof and sit up on the roof until the morning comes. But they're not breaking in here. There's just no way. Now, if these zombies had decided that they were going to go ahead and, uh... Oh, come on, really? There you go. But they decided that they were going to, um... Oh, I think my shotgun turret's out of ammo. I'm going to knock this guy off. Ah, well. Let's just go ahead and, uh... Um, nope, 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 nope. E unlock? Why can't I unlock? Oh, you know what? It's because it's uh, powered. Well, night's almost over. Don't need to turn it anymore. But yeah, like I said, if they decided to try and take this building down, there's really not much, like, honestly, that they're going to be able to... Like, they'd have to do a lot of work to take this thing down. Yeah, they're banging their way down there, but... I think I'm gonna bounce this off or something. There you go. Right, let's crank these guys out of here. Oh, two more cops. I was shocked that we only got that one demolisher. But then again, it is only day well, it's day 16 now, but day 15. I don't know what my game stage was. Day one, or No, you don't. It's gonna blow up. The first, uh, I guess, day eight or whatever. At the end of day eight, I was. I checked my game stage. And I was 117. So I'll probably. I don't know what I was going into this one. Yeah, we got 40 minutes of the horde left. These guys, they have, they don't stand a chance. Come on, guys. Let's go. I hate these guys. Oh, good thing I made enough this time. I do have a second AK just in case, but... Ooh, we didn't get that off. See, now that this base is like this, I can just go and enjoy the. I can just go in and enjoy the game by exploring everywhere now. I don't have to worry about my horde base anymore. There's no way they're gonna break in, even if I just reset what I have. Like, here's the thing: I was, I was almost completely out of uh, 762 ammo the last time, and I started the beginning of this horde night um, with like 3,500 rounds. And I only had like, I think, 1,700 to last Fortnite. And I think I had a couple hundred left when I was done because my AK ran out. What is this guy doing? Yeah, you go away.
And I'm just burning through it now. Because I know I could easily get it back, right? Looks like they just threw that first level of the door. Well, maybe not. Like I said, there's like no missing from here, right? You just point and pull the trigger. Now the way this is set up out here, I don't know if you can see it here, there's one full plate and then there's a plate on the outside. Both of them are reinforced steel. This door is on the same level as these plates out here, so it uses up that block. Um, so yeah, and then the, the door, the next door is on the inside, and then this one is on this block here. So there's three doors. Yeah, they're petering out, and that's it. All right, let's go shred these guys. Gonna go outside and do it. All right, let's fix this door. Yeah, this is only at 50%. Now I think they didn't even make it through the first level, did they? Let's find out here. No, they didn't even make it through the first level. Clear the door so we can get out here. Maybe I won't. There's still a lot of these guys left. Oh, that cop just blew up. Alright, now I think we can go. So the, the issue with this, with the knights being like they are here... is that a lot of the bags despawn. I think that's it. Nope. Don't want her screaming. All right, let's just grab this loot real quick here before it despawns. Is that it? Nope, one more. All right. So, they just still didn't break these yet. I had four of these down here left over from the first horde. I put spikes down here just in case. <laughs> these, still, these two are still left. I'm going to leave them until they're gone. But yeah, that's it. Like, I mean, look at this. This is all, like... That's like no damage. That's like half. That's one's almost broken through. Like, they could, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're not going to take this place down. There's just no way, right? So these are solid blocks, like, all the way through here, too, right? So even if they rip the outside down, they have to take almost all those blocks down. So these things just need to be repaired. Down to 49 to 200. Now, I don't know whether that was from me throwing Molotovs or probably... Probably. This guy needs repairing. Ooh, ow. So let's just steal for that. I thought it was electrical parts. Ah, oh, interesting. So the demolisher went off here. I think... I don't think... I think it was an explosion, but I think he was dead. I think the game just didn't know what it was doing. I think he was dead. That's because he, it, it should have blown right through this block. It should have been down to concrete here. But, yeah, that's it, I guess. I'm going to have to get everything repaired. But I got, like, I've got the... And this is, like, no fuel. 
Yeah, it's like... I don't know why those blade traps started working. Or stopped working, that is. But whatever. Um, anyway, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I think the demolisher got was was killed before he exploded even though it looked like he exploded i think he died just as he was blowing up um that's why he didn't do any damage here because this would have been for sure damaged all the hell but like like nothing these are double barred here and they even broke through the, they even broke through the first one like a little bit of damage on the walls here but really nothing you know the first night when they broke in here they had almost like this brock block was almost completely broken this one was almost completely broken. This one, like these ones, were really damaged. This one was gone. Uh, this outside, the first door here was gone, and they were almost taken. They almost took the second door down. So there's, there's no way. Oh, why is the second? Well, the second door took a little bit of damage. I, I wonder if it was one of the spider monkeys glitched through the door. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. That's it for this base. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Actually, I'll just go walk around the outside just so you can see it. It's a pretty straightforward just walking platform here. So originally when I had this, uh, I made it three wide coming up here because I, I don't want the zombies to not see this as a good path to get to me. Now, I didn't have these two bars here and here because I figured I'd need the extra space to throw Molotovs out. And I just had barbed wire here. Now, this was actually back three from here so the stairs started here and I extended it a bit to put these in between the horde knights um, which I think was a great idea because this did a lot of work early on as well as these blade traps did um, but yeah I would just lob molotovs out and then as they were making their way along here I would toss them over here I had plenty of room to throw them um, but then at a certain point when all this barbed wire was gone they were just running straight to here and I just had to give up throwing molotovs because they there wasn't enough of a group to do that so, yeah, there was, like, uh, during the Horde Night, half of them were down there and half of them were up here because the walls here, like I said, were just reinforced concrete and then brick on the level behind. And they saw that as easier to get through than two steel doors fully reinforced, right? So half of them were breaking through down there. But like I said, they broke through, they went in, and there was nothing in there. There was no way for, the, like, there was a ladder there, but none of them used the ladder to try and get, for, get to me. I had only a metal hatch here. And the hatch had taken no damage. So they didn't try to get up the ladder to get to me. So they just kind of made their way in there and just ran around and came back out, I guess. They did a little bit of damage on the inside, but they'd only taken out part of this wall. Um, and this was all, last time, this was just all dirt down here. I didn't have any um, reinforced concrete down here to protect the ground. Now, the only reason why I put this steel in and reinforced concrete, like I said, was if there was a demolisher up here, I triggered him and he fell off and he blew up down there. He could easily like blow a hole under there and they might see it easier is to try and take the building down at which point i'd be in trouble so i put steel down there just in case that happened it would be a little bit protected um but yeah that's it you know and then if you go around so i'm built right up against the trader so this is trader ground right there and i figured if we build against the trader if they break part of it like like underneath like let's say they go underneath here like we're only one block down they go underneath and this they think this thing thinks about starting to collapse. Oh, they did some damage to this side too. Looks like someone was hitting over here. Um, but if they if they decide to try and collapse the building, at least it's reinforced against this here. You know what I mean? The tr against the trader a little bit, so maybe the whole building won't come down. I don't know. Let's fix that for next time. Um, but yeah, and then this extension that I've got out here is where my crops are up, up above. But like I said, all I was able to have no problem getting this all uh, um, forged steel. All this was forged steel. They did a little bit of damage. I don't know if this was me, like my grenades and stuff blowing up down here. Probably. Um, but yeah, it's it's just a really simple base. It's like a, I think it's a 9x9 nine nine on the bottom here, or is it 11x11? 11 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, it's a 9x9. Nine nine. Usually make, I make a 7x7, seven seven, but because the Horde Knight is 64 zombies and it's on insane, I wasn't really sure um, if a 7x7 seven seven would be sturdy enough, but a 9x9 nine nine most definitely is. And like I said, with the exception of the block in the center, um, like this goes in four blocks, right? One, two, three, 
four, then the center, and then four more. So there's four, there's steel, and then three. Trader Joel's is now open. Thanks, Joel. There's, there's this level of steel, and then three levels of reinforced uh, concrete behind that to get to the center. So they're not, they don't even see this as a viable way of getting to you. They just get mad when they fall off here and start banging on stuff, and then they'll go back up again. Um, but that's, like I said, why I made these pillars, like 4x4s four four down here. I tried to make these smooth so that the zombies wouldn't stay and bang on them. they just keep going. Um, and I made a little angle here so if they fell, they'd slide off. Um, but yeah, the idea is that if, even if they break through like three of these pillars, that this would still be standing. Because as soon as this walkway's, walkway goes, you know, I'm in trouble. Now, the other way to do this too, and I'm thinking about doing it just in case, is that... Um, if one of these steel blocks goes, it's not so bad because the zombies can still kind of like jump over. Uh, but it will, I think, affect their pathing a little bit. So what I'm planning on doing is putting plates underneath here and reinforcing them to steel. That way, if the top block goes, there's still a plate here that they can see as a pathway to get across. Um, yeah, never under, for me, never underestimate the power of those plates because they don't really add a lot of thickness to anything. Um, and if it's if they're turned on the side, the zombies don't see them as a a uh, way to get across something. I don't think. So you can use them as reinforcement and not have to worry about the zombies seeing them as a pathway. So I mean, you could put blocks along the outside here too, right? As extra support. But you know, whatever. Yeah, a lot of little bit of damage down here. This was from me shooting too. I think there was a couple of cops that blew up down here, but. It's going to be like maybe a half a day's worth of repair. Because on 90 minute days, it's it's a long time for a day to go by. But yeah, half a day of repair. And then I'm just back out having fun. They didn't, didn't do any damage to this. Nothing to that. Like nothing. You know what I mean? And this is only one layer of bars. So yeah, I just have to buy one more of these. And like one more of these guys and fix these and we're good to go all right i'm going to end this video here hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe until next time we'll see you later